Hey everybody, Tim Smith here at HPE Discover 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I just wanted to talk about some of the things I was learning, uh, specifically around HPE's Synergy and also the machine. Now if you haven't heard so much about the machine, it's HPE's uh, concept or prototype that they're working on in the HPE labs. Uh, nothing in production yet for this, but it's more of uh, a proof of concept, if you will. What they're doing is building an entirely new compute system that's not based on compute. It's actually a memory-driven architecture, and they're doing something that nobody has ever done before. Um, so when we're looking at the machine, what we're going to see is a bunch of blades. It might look like just an oversized blade chassis, uh, if you're used to in the data center. But it's a little bit different. There's dims and dims and dims of RAM on this board. And then on the processor side, it's just a system on chip. Now, in a normal blade environment, right, you're limited to just access, accessing the uh, memory that's connected directly to that processor. Well, what they're doing in the machine is making a pool of RAM available to all of the processors in the system. So instead of acting like individual blades, what we're actually doing is have one system that can access all the RAM from any CPU. And the way that they're doing that is by photonics. So first off, nobody had ever built an architecture like this before. So which means once they physically developed it, they had to build their own operating system that could address memory in this way, since nobody's been able to address memory off the board before. After they uh, have their operating system built and installed in here, the, the next step was right getting the memory accessible on the outside. Well, as you know, memory is very low latency um, sensitive. So what they did was they built a fiber optic network called Photonics, where they're converting the electrical signals directly into light to go across to the other boards. So what Photonics is doing is taking that across at that ultra low latency and allowing those other chips to access the RAM. Now, currently, in their working prototype, they have 160 terabytes of RAM accessible. And if you come down to the Discover uh, show floor in the labs, you can actually see a live demo of them uh, putting a workload on there and addressing memory all throughout that system from different uh, CPUs uh, in the architecture. So it really is a, a really interesting game changer, right? Because while it's nothing available today for a data center, what that means for us in the future is we're going to have some really scalable architecture and we're no longer bound to a particular blade with CPU and RAM. Just like we can consume uh, individual pools of disk uh, from, a, from a SAN or any other type of array out there, uh, we're going to be able to do the same on the physical data center side, right? We've got virtual machines where we're saying, okay, you're going to have two vCPUs, you're going to have eight gig of RAM. Well, now we'll be able to do the same thing on a physical level. If you happen to still need a physical server, you're going to be able to say, hey, I've got a pool of CPUs and a pool of RAM here. Let's go ahead and just make a physical server out of these two CPUs, or how about even these eight cores, and we're going to go ahead and address 48 gig of RAM. And that RAM might not necessarily be on the same board as that CPU is. Now, the other thing I was looking at is HPE's Synergy box. So it looks very similar to a blade chassis as well, and, and it is. It holds different blade chassis, but it also has the ability to hold a considerable amount of disk. So one thing that you'll notice is it's, it's a big box. Um, rack mount box, I believe it's about 7U high, and uh, it can hold approximately 10 blades in it, but we can also hold up to 60 disks in it as well. So take a look here at HPE's website, and, and this is what the, the Synergy looks like. And what HPE says is this is their composable infrastructure system. So what that means is you're going to be able to compose your, your workload that you need out of all these different options. Now, unlike the machine, right, we don't have the ability to uh, separate the RAM and the CPU. So uh, we're still uh, composing our infrastructure one blade at a time. However, our compute and our network and our storage uh, are going to be in those separate pools. So, but we can scale those all individually. <clears throat> you can see here, we've got the disk as an option there, storage. Uh, and that storage can be provisioned as direct attached storage to any of our blades. Or we can go ahead and just take chunks of that and make that addressable 
as shared storage throughout multiple blades, whether that's file, block, object. We also have the ability to have that consumable for uh, containers. And this is all done within the software. So we have the composer, which is another small blade in the Synergy here. And there's actually going to be two of these for redundancy in each uh, system. And this is the portal. This holds the software. This is the brains of the operation, right? So this is where we're going to go in and we're going to tell it what we need, how we're going to compose it. We're going to have uh, our different templates that are available. Uh, and then this is also exposed via API. So we can write our own tools that can go ahead and provision that for us. And uh, so when we talk about the provisioning here, um, just like other blade templates out there, we're going to keep uh, these accessible so we can reuse them, reprovision them. You know, if we have a template that we, we, we know is going to work for this particular workload, we can deploy right off of that template instead of having to build again and again. And then last is scalability. So this isn't just uh, scalable to one Synergy box in your rack, right? You can go ahead and fill an entire rack with these and scale down to, I believe, about five or seven racks so far. So uh, what we do is we actually cable it up and we create an entire loop system. Instead of a mesh where we might be going back to a, a single hub, uh, this is actually going to be a loop. So one Synergy enclosure down to the next, down to the next, and then the last one back to the beginning. And then like the uh, HPE blade chassis, we have our network connectivity back uh, on the back end. Um, but connections uh, inside the Synergy network will stay within that high speed loop that we have. So I'm really interested to see how HPE is going to continue on to innovate in the machine and then bring that into products like Synergy. Because I know as a, as a data center administrator, I know it'd be very, very valuable to be able to have some of those technologies, right? That memory driven architecture taken into the Synergy in the future where I can provision whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want, and not be cons uh, constrained by any resources like storage network or in the case of the machine technology, compute and RAM. So be sure to click subscribe. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more videos out while I'm here at HPE Discover. And if not, I'll catch you on the next video.